you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review the film The Mortal Instruments City of Bones. This film stars Lily Collins, Lena Headey, and Jonathan Rhys Mayers. This film is about when Lily Collins, she, she plays this teenage girl, she finds out that she is the descendant of the line of the Shadow Hunters. She comes home seeing that her mother disappears and so she joins a group of these shadow hunters to battle against evil. Going into the Mortal Instruments City of Bones, I was honestly not looking forward to this film. Actually, I was dreading seeing this film. The trailers in this film gave me zero interest. It just looked awful and I honestly thought this was going to be one of the worst films of the year. But... Coming out of the Mortal Instrument City of Bones, it was surprisingly not bad. This film is actually good. It was very interesting and it was fun, for the majority at least. The film, once it starts off, it surprisingly rushes to the main storyline, like after the first five minutes, and that was fine because it didn't feel out of place when they did that. Once the movie began, I was surprisingly already invested in it. I was already entertained by the storyline, the whole mythology, the characters. Lily Collin does a great job as the main lead. She's a beautiful actress, and I think she does a good job here. I was just really really interested the whole time watching this film. The action sequences are awesome. They're very well choreographed, not shaky cam, which is filmed very well. I was actually surprised on how good the Mortal Instrument City of Bones was. The majority of the film is good, but once it gets to that final act, the film just completely lost a step. The final act isn't terrible, but it falls right down into mediocrity level. The first two acts, it was just good, it was entertaining, the mythology thing was just handled so well. In the final act, it was sloppy, it was jumbled, it was all over the place. They really convoluted the whole mythology thing. There was actually parts that made you go, okay, what? And they, they just really went all over the place. It was a messy final act in my opinion. It just wasn't a good film anymore when that happened. Still not an awful film. I wasn't really having fun with the film anymore. It was a film that started off very strong, very interesting, very solid, and it ends just very weak, messy, sloppy. Overall, The Mortal Instruments City of Bones is not a terrible film. The acting was good. Jonathan Reese Mayers as the villain here. He was pretty cool. Lena Headey was really good here as well. Also, The Shadow Hunters, that was nice. Oh yeah, and I didn't give a crap about the romance in this film, but thank goodness it's not a major part of this film. The Mortal Instruments, even if it did have that messy final act, it was still not a bad film. The first two acts were a definite 3 out of 4 stars. 3 out of 4 stars for the first two acts. Once the final act came, it just became 2 out of 4 stars. And so, I'm sorry guys, it was good for a while. Final act came. I am going to have to give The Mortal Instruments City of Bones 2.5 out of 4 stars. It is still not a bad film. I know teens will enjoy this, especially if you read the book. And I'm sure adults will find enjoyment in it as well. As a whole, it's just entertaining. But it was definitely pleasantly surprising. And I'm just glad it's not awful. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.